Greetings, I'm Hurt Castro, coming to you from our state-of-the-art suspension development center in Colorado Springs. Today, we're gonna to learn how to service the motion control damper on the RockShox Boxer, Pike, Reba, Recon, and Revelation forks. Here are the three steps. First, remove the damper. Second, service the damper. Third, reinstall the damper. Unless you've done this many times before, we sure do recommend that you check out these RockShox product manuals, which are on the SRAM website as PDFs. Please print these out and read through them before you put your bike in the stand. Okay, enough preliminaries, let's get down to business. At this point, you should already have the lowers removed from your fork. For boxers and remote adjust forks, it is not necessary to remove the motion control adjuster knob. For forks with a crown mounted adjuster, remove the external snap ring from the compression adjuster knob using external snap ring pliers. Remove the compression adjuster knob and o-ring seal. Unthread the compression damper top cap with a 24mm socket wrench. Remove the compression damper from the upper tube and crown by pulling up and gently rocking it from side to side. With a sharp pick, remove the compression damper o-rings located at the top and bottom of the damper. Apply a few drops of suspension oil to the new o-rings and reinstall. Remove the fork from the bicycle stand and pour the remaining oil into the pan. Remove the rebound damper seal head retaining ring located inside the bottom of the right upper tube using internal snap ring pliers. Pull out and remove the rebound damper and seal head assembly from the upper tube. Slide the seal head off the damper shaft and remove the inner and outer seal head o-rings. Apply a few drops of suspension oil to the new o-rings and reinstall. Spray isopropyl alcohol on the rebound damper shaft and clean with a rag. Inspect the surface of the rebound shaft. If there's noticeable damage, you'll need to replace the shaft assembly. If damaged, replace the rebound damper piston glide ring. Position the upper tube base ring on top of the seal head step. Lightly grease the inner surface of the seal head inner o-ring and slide the seal head assembly onto the rebound damper shaft. Spray isopropyl alcohol into the upper tube. Wrap a clean rag around a dowel and clean the inside of the upper tube. Insert the rebound damper piston into the bottom of the upper tube at an angle with the open-ended side of the glide ring facing outward. Continue to angle and rotate until the glide ring is in the upper tube. Position the upper tube base ring seal and seal head into the upper tube and press into the upper tube with your thumb. Use internal snap ring pliers to secure the seal head into the upper tube with the retaining ring. Make sure the retaining ring is securely fastened in the upper tube groove. You can check this by using the snap ring pliers to rotate the retaining ring in the groove back and forth a few degrees. If it rotates easily, it's in. Pull the rebound damper shaft down into the fully extended position. Measure and pour 5 weight suspension oil into the upper tube through the crown using the volumes listed in this chart. Oil volume is critical. Too much oil reduces available travel, which can lead to fork damage from compression bottom out. Too little oil decreases damping performance. Next, we'll reinstall the compression assembly. Lightly grease the top cap and piston o-rings Check to make sure the adjuster is set so that the valve underneath the piston is open, then gently insert the compression assembly into the upper tube through the crown. Continue to push the compression assembly in until the top cap threads make contact with the top of the upper tube. Thread the cap clockwise by hand, then continue with the 24mm socket. Once the top cap is fully seated, torque it to 65 inch-pounds. If you're working on a boxer or a remote compression assembly, you're finished. If you're working on a non-remote system, your next and final step is to reinstall the compression adjuster knob. Rotate the adjuster completely clockwise. Reinstall the adjuster cap o-ring. Install the knob so that the tab is over the back of the crown or pointed toward the rider. Reinstall the snap ring by gently opening it with an external pliers just enough so that the ring can go down and into the groove. Okay, you've serviced the motion control damper. Good job. <laughs>